Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So let's get started. All right, you guys, on so today's video, on today's video, Today's video is going to be a really interesting one. I'm kind of excited to do this video because I bought some perfumes from Temu and I have them right here, right in front of me. Now, I heard about this website so many times and I finally wanted to check it out and I was checking out all the different things, all the weird things that they have. It was really, really cheap and affordable. And then I came across these perfumes. They have so, so many perfumes. I don't think they're fakes because they don't claim to be the original perfume and you can obviously see the difference in the pictures, but they do have a bunch of different perfumes, a bunch of dupes or inspired by perfumes. I don't know, but I decided to buy quite a few and i have them right here so i want to try them out i did try some out already because i was so 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 curious curiosity killed the cat and i just wanted to try them out so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna try out perfumes from temu i bought seven perfumes i was actually gonna get 10 but i was like you know what let me just not overdo it only because it was so affordable they were so so cheap so my my hopes are definitely not high and I do not expect these perfumes to like, wow, oh my god, I love these perfumes. No, uh, we're going to get into the details of the pricing, the shipping, and all of that stuff. If you guys see my lights flickering on and off, I don't know what's going on. We're just going to let the ghost have fun. <laughs> all right, so the first perfume that I'm going to show you guys is this one right here. So the packaging is horrible. First of all, they, some of these boxes are really, really damaged. I don't know if this comes from China. They came in a bubble mailer, so this one came in damaged, and this one is called Holiday Roaming, and I'm guessing this is a replica from the perfume Replica Beach Walk, because it's literally just the same. This is the 1.7 fluid ounce. I ended up paying $7.64 for this one, so... You see where I'm going with this? All right, so the next one that I bought is this one. Now this one, I don't know what it's called. It's called SJ Particular. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce, and obviously it is inspired by the Giorgio Armani perfume. I ended up paying $12.14. The next one that I got is Black Rose. Uh, this is the 3.0 fluid ounce. It's this one. I believe this one is inspired by... I don't even know what this one is inspired by, but it's so weird that on the website it's called Lovely Fantasy Lady Perfume. This one retails for $9.44. I think this one's inspired by Paco Rabanne. I could be wrong. I don't know, but it's this one. The next one that I have here is 0.85 Fluid Ounce. It's an Eau de Parfum, and this one is called Black Opium. Literally, it's called Black Opium. I ended up paying $6.74 for this. It's really, really tiny. This one did come intact. Like, the packaging is good, but I haven't tried this one out. So, yeah, this one is going to be very interesting. All right, so the next one is Libre, and I believe this one is inspired by YSL Libre. This one retails for $8.99. On the website, it's called Luxurious Women's Perfume. And right here, it's just called Libre. Cool. All right. The next one is called True Love. And this one retail for $6.48. So this one is the replica for Giorgio Armani My Way perfume. Um, this one is one that I did try out because, again, I was really, really curious. So we have True Love. This is the 1.0 fluid ounce. All right. So moving on to the last one. So this is the reason why I decided to buy all these perfumes. When I saw this, I knew that I had to get it. And this one's called Dream Garden. And I believe this is the replica for Gucci Gorgeous Gardenia, one of my favorite, favorite scents. Uh, which I do have right here. So it's literally almost identically. They do have the newer version, the older version. And then I believe right here they have Flower of Story. There goes my lights. And I believe this is the Bloom replica. And I do have some thoughts and some opinions. So yeah, you guys, that's what we're going to do. We're going to open these perfumes. I'm going to tell you what I think about these perfumes. And I'm really curious to see the other ones that I have not tried out. So the first one that I'm go going to talk to you guys about is the Holiday Roaming, which is, I believe, the fake or the replica for the perfume Replica Beach Walk. Funny enough, this is a replica of the perfume Replica. So 
I'm gonna spray this on my clothes because I am not really a fan of the way that this one smells. Um, so this one, you know, funny enough that these perfumes do not smell cheap. Surprisingly, they do not smell cheap. I was really, really shocked when I first smelled this. This one is just literally soap water. This is soap water. It doesn't really necessarily smell like replica, but this one is, is literally soap and water. But it smells nice. It's a really nice, clean scent. I don't know any of the notes that these perfumes have. All I know is that the perfume literally looks almost the same as the replica perfume. It's, it's cute. I'll admit it. It's really, really cute. Uh, but yeah, this is... <laughs> This is just a clean scent. It's a, a soapy scent. It's clean. It's fresh. I'm gonna say it. It's nice. It's nice. However, it's not my cup of tea. It's not something that I would wear. Even if this was like a, like a high-end perfume, I don't think I would like it. This one doesn't smell cheap, but it doesn't smell like a high-end perfume. But I, I will admit it. It is nice and it does last quite some time on the skin. Uh, so yeah, if you are interested in perfumes like this, this one is called Holiday Roaming and I believe this is a replica for the perfume, Replica Beach Walk. I don't know what to tell you, but yeah, this one is called Holiday Roaming and it doesn't necessarily smell like Beach Walk, but um, it's a surprisingly a nice perfume. This one is the only perfume that came in damage in the box. The, the box was just soaked in perfume. That's why it's all the way down there. Not because I use that much, but because uh, it, this is the only perfume that came really, really damaged. All right, so moving on to the Giorgio Armani C Passion Perfume or the Replica. So this is one of those perfumes that I was really, really intrigued. I just had to open it and I just had to try it out. So this is what the bottle looks like. The bottle is, I will admit, the bottle doesn't look that cheap. It really does not look that cheap. I think if the bottle wasn't see-through, it would definitely look luxurious but when you put it right next to the original perfume it looks cheap but i think it looks cheap because of the juice the juice is just red so this is what the perfume looks like this is what the bottle looks like really really identical and with this perfume you guys once again i will i will admit it this one does not smell like the original for this one this one however smells like the original giorgio armani c perfume it's very, very, very similar. It's almost identically to that perfume. And once again, it does not smell cheap. It does not smell synthetic. But yeah, you guys, I don't know. It's it's a really nice scent. It, this is definitely the original Giorgio Armani C. It's very spicy. It's very cinnamon, uh, very floral, very fresh so if you are familiar with the original one the one that comes just in a regular bottle not the red one well i'm assuming this one is this one because of the box like the box for the original c passion perfume looks literally just like this but besides that yeah you guys this perfume does smell like the original perfume it does smell very cinnamon uh, like cinnamon uh, floral fresh a little bit spicy it is nice but what I've noticed about this perfume is it doesn't last. It's only going to last about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how much you spray. But obviously, it was like $10. I was not expecting this to be like a beast mode perfume. And again, I only bought these perfumes for the fun, just to see what they were like. Because I was so, so freaking curious when I saw all of these perfumes. But this is not a bad perfume. This is not a bad scent. I will admit it. I will admit that this is not a bad perfume. Would I wear this? Uh, I want to say no. But deep down inside, I think yes. <laughs> but I don't know, you guys. It's so weird because when we think about perfumes, and maybe this is just me, but when we think about perfumes, every time you think of, or you see a perfume that was like $20, $25, something about that price tag, it makes you be like, eh, no, I'm okay. I'd rather pay $100 on a perfume. But something about that price tag, it makes you feel more comfortable. It makes you feel, or it makes me feel more like, okay, this is a good perfume because it was a hundred dollars, you know? But if you see something like this and it's ten dollars, it kind of makes me feel like, I don't know, it, 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 it smells, it smells okay, it smells good, but is it going to smell cheap on other people? Are they going to smell the same thing that I'm smelling or am I gonna smell good? I don't know, but 
I will admit this perfume does smell nice. It doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell synthetic. It doesn't smell... Uh, yeah, any of that. It does smell like the original C perfume. And this is called Particular. And this is a 3.4 fluid ounce. All right, so moving on to the next one. So the next one that I'm going to show you is called True Love. And this one is the replica or the inspired version of Giorgio Armani, My Way. The bottle of this perfume is literally the same thing as the My Way perfume. It's literally, it's literally the same thing. Like from the cap. The, just everything about this perfume is Giorgio Armani my way. There's some glitter in here and it looks really, really pretty. Now, the scents. You guys. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. And I'm going to say, I really like this perfume. And I can't believe that I'm saying that. The reason why I like it is because this is literally Giorgio Armani my way. This literally smells identically to my way. When I first sprayed this, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe how good this perfume smells. It literally smells just like Giorgio Armani, my way. I just identically, I cannot. And I wish that I had it here with me so I can compare both of them. I don't have that perfume. I do have the, the intense version or the newest one, but yeah, you guys, this perfume smells just the same. It's really, really nice. It's sweet. It's fruity. It's floral. It's fresh. It's just Giorgio Armani my way. And I am surprised of how good this perfume is. Because, yes, it smells so freaking good. And it smells just like my way. It smells identically. It smells identically. It's not as strong and as powerful. But you do get a nice whiff of the perfume and I had wore this perfume I wore this perfume yesterday and I could still smell it in the air after like maybe two hours I can still smell this perfume in the air so this one right here was uh this one was a shocker for me and yeah I don't know this is probably the only one that I would recommend trying out from this website because it's really 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 good and again this one's called true love and this is supposed to be the giorgio armani my way version all right so moving on to the next one that i haven't tried is the black rose so i just googled it so this one was nine dollars and 44 cents and this one is supposed to be the version of black xs by paco Rabanne. i've never tried that perfume so this is going to be very interesting so let me open this one up and let me see what it smells like all right so this is what the bottle looks like i have to say the bottle doesn't look cheap at all it actually looks really really nice it has a nice purple color to it it's pretty it doesn't look cheap at all i like it so let's get to the scent and let's see what it smells like once again i am not familiar with the original one so i won't know what if the original one smells like if they are identical but let's see if this one smells any any good okay i don't like this <laughs> this smells mm -mm. oh no 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 this one smells like a oh like an old basement like has anybody smelled an old basement or like when you go to a basement and the basement is full of boxes and you can smell that cardboard and that cardboard has been getting wet and it smells like wet cardboard from like the 80s yeah no this is a big no <laughs> i hope paco Ravan's perfume does not smell like this because that is not cute one bit okay we're not even gonna spend too much time on this it just smells yeah it smells really bad <laughs> i don't like it i will never use this i'll probably throw this one out i just don't like it but yeah this is black rose and it smells just like that the 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 scent is kind of going away it, it almost wow it does it's almost like not there anymore yeah i don't know you guys i don't like it it's i'm kind of glad that it's not sticking to my skin that much because now i really cannot smell it that much but yeah this one was black rose and this is just a disappointment all right moving on to the next one so the next one that i'm gonna try out is called black opium just like that and this one retailed for six dollars and 74 cents i didn't open this one so i'm gonna open it now oh wow okay so the bottle it's tiny it literally looks just like black opium honestly 
if I saw this in the streets or someone was like, oh, look, I bought black opium, I would have thought this is the original black opium because even the name, it says the name. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it says black opium. The bottle looks just the same. Wow, that is crazy to me, you guys. That is crazy. I am familiar with black opium, so we'll see what it smells like and we'll see if it smells just like black opium. Whoa. Okay, yeah, it smells just like black opium, but okay, this is a really weak version of black opium. This is like, yeah, the wow, the, the scent is like literally fading away. You know what I've noticed when I spray these perfumes? The way that they stick to my hand, it almost feels like I'm spraying water. When you spray a, a, a high-end perfume, it doesn't feel like it's like water is dripping down your hand. These perfumes feels like water. So I feel like maybe this is a, they probably use the original perfumes, but then they water them down. I don't know if that's even possible, but yeah, this is literally like, it's almost gone. It's literally almost gone. So it does smell a little bit like the black opium perfume, but this is definitely a watered down version of black opium. It literally, it literally becomes a skin sense the minute you spray it on your hand. Wow. I have to say that's a little bit disappointing because it doesn't smell cheap. Even the way that it sprays, it just looks like, I don't know, it looks like water. It literally looks like water, but I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it, this one does smell a little bit cheap. It does give me that coffee vibes, that chocolatey vibes that black opium is known for. But this one smells a little synthetic. It does smell a little synthetic, but I can't smell that black opium DNA. But yeah, this is definitely a watered down version of black opium. It's a little bit disappointing because it literally looks just like black opium. So I don't know, you guys. I wouldn't recommend this one because it just literally, it's literally disappearing right in front of my eyes, right, right in front of my nose. Disappointing, but this one was black opium opium all right so moving on to the next one so the next one that i'm gonna open because i haven't opened it up yet and haven't tried it is the libre perfume obviously from ysl except this is their version so let me open this up wow this is literally the bottle is literally identically to ysl except this one's called ycl look at this bottle wow this is they have the nerve to literally make it almost identically to the original like this is the original and this is the copy obviously you can see a little bit more in the color this one's more yellow this one is just like a watered down version of the original one is it going to smell the same is it going to have that same effect that libre has because libre is one of my favorite perfumes to wear okay so this one sprays a lot better than the other ones it's still I feel like it's a watered down version as well okay first reaction i'm not getting something strong beast mode like the original one wow but it does smell like libre wow okay so it has it almost has that libre dna it's not as beautiful or as strong as the original one but okay this one is nice this one is not that bad this one also doesn't smell synthetic it doesn't smell cheap it doesn't smell i feel like this one smells like the eldo toilet one because the original one is very very strong that uh iris note is very very strong that vanilla note this one has almost that dna but a, a little bit more calm a little bit more less crazy i feel like this is more of the eldo toilet version than the original one it's pretty decent it's pretty close to the original one wow i'm actually <laughs> the gag is that i'm actually liking it i don't know you guys so this one does have that dna of libre but it's more soft it's more calm it's not that crazy or intoxicating but it does have that that dna that libre has however this one is a little bit more soft a little bit more not too crazy that's why i say i feel like this is more of of an Eldo toilet version, but it's still somewhat nice. It is kind of sweet. It is kind of fresh, clean, yet a little bit sweet, 
but <laughs> it is nice i cannot front when i say that it is nice i wouldn't repurchase this though because i am loyal to my libre this is my second bottle but i do have to say the the cap the little gold ring around the cap this one looks cheap this one you can tell it's more detailed it's more gold it's more pretty it's definitely high-end this one just looks like plastic it just looks like cheap plastic definitely definitely cheap so yeah i wouldn't repurchase this but i probably would wear this if i'm just gonna be around the house or if i'm gonna be in the backyard or if i'm gonna go to the pool because it is nice was it worth the nine dollars i'm gonna say just for the fun of the video and just because i really wanted to try it out yes i think it was worth the nine dollars so if you want to try out the libre perfume and you do not want to spend 150 dollars i say get this one just to for you to try it out i don't know that's just my personal opinion but yeah it's not bad all right so moving on to the last perfume that i have here obviously it is the gift sets the replica for gucci gorgeous gardenia this one's just called dream garden flower of cherry and flowers of story parfum so i did try these out all right so let me start off by saying the gift set is cute it's definitely cute i really do like the gift set i think the gift set is the reason why i decided to purchase this i mean this is just really really cute i don't know i just really like how it looks it looks looks nice all right so definitely a difference in the bottle the image on this one looks a lot less cuter it's does look cheap the cap on this one also does look cheap this one looks more detailed it looks more gold it looks better this one just looks like it's spray painted with gold it looks it looks cheap and out of all these perfumes this gift set was the most expensive one which was 14 all right so this one you guys <laughs> when i first spray this i'm gonna spray this one right here so it does spray nice i like how it sprays i was shocked I was very, very shocked that it literally smells just like gorgeous gardenia. Except this one doesn't last for more than 20 minutes. <laughs> literally on my skin, it lasts about 20 minutes and then it fades away. I remember spraying it. I was shocked. Couldn't believe that it smelled just like gorgeous gardenia. But after like maybe an hour when I tried smelling my skin, the, the scent was completely gone it wasn't there anymore so that's why i feel like these perfumes are just watered down versions of the original ones this one is a lot more prettier a lot more sweeter a lot more uh yes it's just you can obviously tell the difference this is more high-end very well blended this one is almost like this one but just a watered down version it doesn't smell cheap and then of course it came with this one the the mini version so i do have the original one that looks like this it's also called gorgeous gardenia uh so this one too i'm gonna spray this one right here because i don't think i sprayed anything here so this one again this literally feels like water on my skin i like how this one smells it doesn't smell like gorgeous gardenia the original one this one just has some type of a different tone i don't know what it is but i actually do like this one but again with this one 20 minutes and it's gone it's completely completely gone i was very disappointed but then again 14 dollars can you really be disappointed no but 20 minutes here is gonna be gone it's going to be completely gone what a shame but this one's called flowers of cheery cheery yeah cheer i thought i said cherry but it's cheery c-h-e-e-r-y yeah it's pretty it's nice just a disappointment on how long it lasts same thing with this one and then of course it came with this one which is i believe the version for bloom and this one's called flower of story now this one i didn't try so let me spray this one really quick i don't even have any more skin <laughs> any more skin to spray this i'm just gonna spray this right here in the middle I don't i'm not a big fan of the bloom perfume from gucci so i'm not yeah oh no i don't not like this at all not one bit it literally smells just like gucci bloom it smells like oh it smells like funeral flowers it smells like funeral this literally smells like ugh, gardenia like a like a strong gardenia note or two rolls it smells ugh, it just smells strong in that department i do not like two rolls if it has too much two rolls get it away from me i do not like two rows 
it's very ugh, it smells like <laughs> it smells like funeral flowers it smells like a funeral it smells like funeral candles it smells like funeral rose petals fresh roses it literally smells just like no i don't like this it smells like bloom from gucci so if you're into that highly recommend this because it smells just like that the longevity i don't know this is my first time trying it but there you go but yeah you guys that is pretty much it for today's video i have to say this was fun i don't think i would do this again but if you are just like me if you're curious and curiosity kill the cats i would say go for it but don't spend 61 dollars, which is what i spend they do have uh the carolina herrera stiletto's they do have the Moschino Teddy perfumes, the little bear perfumes. They do have a bunch of other perfumes that are literally the same thing as the high-end perfumes. So I would probably personally say if you have 20 bucks and you just want to see what the fuss is about, I say go for it. If you have 20 bucks to spend and you don't care about wasting 20 bucks, go for it. They they are very affordable. Like for example, this one, I would I would recommend you guys getting this one i mean six dollars and 48 cents sure why not so but yeah you guys once again that is pretty much it for today's video i did have fun i don't think i would do this again because this was just a one-time thing that i really wanted to try so if you guys like this video and found it helpful please give this video a huge thumbs up that lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content and you guys enjoy videos like this if you're new to my channel hi my name is edgar O, and i am obsessed with perfumes and everything in the fashion world so if that sounds like you stick around click that subscribe button click that notification bell to get notified for every single time i upload but right you guys as always thank you for watching and i can't wait till we got on the next one until then i'll see you next time bye